I got this in the mail today. I have an auto incline treadmill. Don't want to show you my address on accident, but I am very excited. And we're about to put this up right now. Neatly wrapped. So far, so good. I mean, he got a new bed and everything. Is it good, Craig? Got this from Walmart online for about four fifty. It was thirty dollars or thirty five dollars for the warranty that I got for electrical issues. But other than that, I give it an eight out of ten, and I'll explain in the later clips. So max is 12, mm -hmm. and then the max speed is 8. And it has a heart rate monitor. Yep, 75. right there. Cool. That's cool. Then it has the calories. 12 um, preset programs. Mm -hmm. You can even do the speed and incline through here. You change the... Oh, this is pretty cool. And then you have the emergency stop. Oh, that's cool. What happens if you put it back? Does it start randomly or restart? I think it okay, restarts. It. It, oh, it even goes down. Oh, nice. I definitely need to adjust the thing this way because when we need to put it away, it's supposed to meet it here. And it doesn't. It's, it's too close to this. And you can tell because of that gap there and this gap here. And it just needs to be a nice, I don't know, unbolted or something. You gotta look at the instructions. We are now home. We've been home for a couple hours now. It's already almost four. Or, oh my sorry. It's already almost 4 30. We took a nap and now we're back to being rejuvenated. I think the sun really beat us down today during that car meet and then having to go through the first of the month rush for grocery shopping. So right now, Sal is helping one of my crazy ideas. I'm putting our shoe rack um, drawer system shit into the garage since we fixed up the garage a bit. It's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. So I'm thinking about grabbing the black paint and painting it. Um, but if it doesn't look too bad being white, then we'll probably just keep it, but we'll see. It's easier to paint on those since it's Ikea and it's cheap wood. Um, so yeah, I'll show you guys right now. Here are the drawers, you can call them, um, for the shoes. Here's Cray Cray. We also went to Costco, which I told you guys. I love these things. I've tried one already and they're so freaking good. I'm sad that I didn't listen to Sal and get two already. These only have technically five grams of carbs and then four grams plus the three grams of sugar. So it's a little high on the sugar, but I mean, it's so good. It says here only four grams of sugar. So I don't think you include the added sugar. I'm not too sure. I also got a whole pack of seaweed. This is supposed to carve my craving when I want like something crunchy. Although it does have a lot of sodium, so I have to be careful. These I have not tried yet, but they seem really good. These are simply protein and they're really good on the calories and the carbs as well. For like the peanut butter one, there's seven grams of carbs, then one gram of sugar. We also grabbed these treats, these training treats for Craig. He already really likes it. They're very tiny, so they'll be perfect for when we're training him. We've been training him with these for a little bit already, and he loves them. He literally gobbles it up and salivates. Why is that been too much to explain? Um, Sal said that it's not sitting flush because of our back trim, whatever. The baseboard. And 
He's going to add anchors here so that way it doesn't fall on Cray or whenever we slam this door, it's not going to get affected. But I use the yellow one. These ones? Mm -hmm. And then I use the washer so that way it goes on here instead of going through the actual wood. Because as far as the other one didn't fall through, the screws were in here already rather than sitting on top. Oh, okay. I have not showed you guys the update of the garage. I don't even think I've ever showed you guys the garage, but this was flipped. Um, now we have the treadmill here just because of the outlet, but we do have an extension just in case we need it. We also moved all of this stuff. We want to do this like AC unit thing. Sal finally convinced me to get that and basically you cut up a little hole and then you map or route the actual machine that does the ac i thought about doing the installation on the garage door so that way it retains better on like the cold air and not getting the garage too hot because it does get extremely hot in this garage like i'm already sweating and i've only been in here for like two minutes so yeah, I, we have a lot of plans for the garage now. We can finally start doing the epoxy. Sal's dad is trying to find a good, reputable company to come and do it. But I think, I think Sal yeah, yeah, and I, huh? Yeah, 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 right. yeah, I think Sal and I might just do it ourselves. We can literally just do one section at a time. Um, but I'm pretty sure with Salva being the person that he is, he would want to do it all at once. So, yeah, we're probably going to do like the basic gray because I've heard black epoxy on the floor on the garage. You can see the dirt a lot more. And because we're in Arizona, you just get a lot of dust every time. Like Sal would sweep the floors and then five minutes later, a lot of dust comes in. You know, just left. Like your feet are gonna be black, guaranteed. Probably. Oh yeah, look at that. So <laughs> Seen these on TikTok. They're supposedly keto friendly. We have the zero net carbs. It's literally zero, zero sugar. And then you see how it has seven grams of carbs, but the dietary fibers are seven grams, so it cancels it out. Then I use a tablespoon of this confectioner sugar replacement and this has three grams of carbs in it i used one fourth of cream cheese a splash of vanilla and some cinnamon then i am frying with butter so technically if i remember correctly this doesn't have any carbs in it so it's technically three grams of carbs and zero grams of sugar for making six little tortillas. But like, you definitely want people that can kind of be both like Tyler from Anime or other people that are when they do like everyone can. Like even, I guarantee you can do it. So I think that's like a very thing that people kind of always go for. That looks really that's good. Really cool. Kind of looks like lumpia. These are literally cinnamon rolls. <laughs> Let's try them. Apparently they're going to be really good. I mean, I don't doubt it's literally just cream cheese and cinnamon. Let's try it. The cream cheese is a little too much. I thought it added too much cinnamon, but I think it needs more cinnamon. But it's really good. And especially for three grams of carbs. Anyhow, I am here in the garage. Sal wants to go walk um, Kratos down to the backyard so he could go potty and stuff. He's already having a rough morning. So we're gonna do even more training today because yesterday during our workout, we were training him on the treadmill and then we were training him with his regular training like heel, sit, all that crap. Um, and we've decided to just make this a routine where every morning we'll just do this. So 
Here I am in the garage. I'm currently stretching and I need to put on my shoes. I am the DJ whenever we work out, so I can't really, unless I ask Sal to record it for me. But I will show you guys, try to show you guys some workouts. <laughs> Just got in a package from my cousin's brand. I'm really excited. It's so cute. Let's rip it open together. My cousin owns a little plant boutique kind of thing. I don't even know if it's what you would call a boutique. That's close, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's like a plant shop. Um, and I'm really excited because I ordered some stickers she even gave me one some of her new ones this one is so cute i'm so excited so there's this one then of course this one right here is my favorite love wins also don't look at my fucking nails okay i understand they look like five-year-olds did it because um it was my first time trying it out this is so cute oh and look at this one shop local these are so cute. I'm so excited. I really love this one. All right, y'all. I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a few opinions. I have a few opinions on this treadmill that we just bought. I actually really love it. I had to sit on it for a few days just because it was a big purchase for me that I haven't made in a really long time and so I had buyer's remorse and it looking very small compared to me and compared to what I'm used to seeing from commercial treadmills like the, at the gym and stuff. I felt like I spent way too much money on this treadmill but um, at the end of the day, it does what it needs to do and there's only a few cosmetic issues that I don't like. It doesn't sit flush when you try to close it the way it's supposed to be closed and you have to actually push the arm so that way it can even go halfway up without it falling or tipping forward. Another thing that I have a really big issue with, which kind of trumps the first issue, is that you always have to adjust and fix the belt. So I can go on the treadmill for 15 minutes and if Sal wants to use it after me, he would have to make sure that the belt is adjusted properly, that there's no gaps on the side because it kind of affects the way that the treadmill moves the belt. Um, you can actually feel it kind of stuttering if it's not adjusted properly in the right position. And then the third thing, of course, is the cosmetics. It's just very tiny. At first, I thought that I needed to return it because, one, there's a weight limit, which I knew of. But I was expecting it to be, because of the weight limit, a little bit bigger um, but this one was very tiny. At first, I kind of thought that maybe I messed up, accidentally bought an under the desk treadmill, but I didn't. <laughs> and then I went back and I did more research after researching finding this freaking treadmill. I spent maybe a couple, maybe 50 to to $100 more than what I would have bought buying the cheapest under the desk treadmill and then I also realized that I spent $50 more than getting one that is a manual incline and it just made more sense to me in the time and now that looking back and making sure that I love this purchase <laughs> um, it just makes sense if I were to buy one that I've seen in the gym or commercial um, areas that it you'd be spending more than a thousand dollars on a fucking treadmill for a fucking tv on there but this treadmill has auto incline it does the heart monitor you know it has the emergency stops and goes it even has a little led like display or you can press the buttons on the side to make it go up and down and i just felt like for the price it actually does make sense um why it's so cheap. I ended up spending 
with warranty. I think I got the three or five year warranty. Um, and I also paid for fast shipping with taxes, of course. It came out to closer to $450. Um, and looking back, I think I made the right choice. A really good starting out treadmill. I don't commit to the gym as often as I'm supposed to or work out as much as I am supposed to. But this one actually made me start going and walking on there, even if it's for five minutes and then I do a little workout on the side after. It actually gets me working out because <laughs> I spend so much money on it. But other than that, I do think it's an eight out of 10. The biggest issue is that belt issue, but nothing that can't be a quick fix. So anyways, if you're new here, my name is Dawn Annika. I make lifestyle content, vlogs, shop with me's, clean with me's, hauls, all of the above. If you like those kind of videos, then be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. As always, comment, like, share. I don't care as long as you're loving the journey just as much as we are.